Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. So now we got to talk about this whole Kelly Rowland situation because last week we talked about Kelly. Um, and her being disrespected by Peter Rosenberg. And now, honey, the internet done turned on Miss Kelly. And they are dragging her for this Chris Brown situation. So what basically happened is that Chris Brown was supposed to perform at the AMAs. And him, I guess him and Sierra, they were going to do like a Michael Jackson performance. Um, he did one a few years ago, I think on BET or something. And so the AMAs, after having him practice over and over again and go to rehearsals, at the last minute, they decided to cancel the entire performance. So Chris Brown was very upset. Um, he went on to social media. He complained about it. And so during the AMAs, and I'm not going to play the award ceremony, but he had gotten an award for something and Kelly Rowland went up there to accept the award for Chris. And some people in the audience started booing. And Kelly was like, no, y'all need to be quiet. And then she basically was like, you know, Chris is talented, da, 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 gave him props and said that she was proud to take this award on his behalf. And so I didn't think too much of it, but I, I just was like, OK, it's very weird that it seems like she's constantly caping for Chris, but maybe I'm reaching. And so now she gets confronted by paparazzi, right? Let me show y'all this. She's um, trying to get in her car and paparazzi come up to her and they start asking her about the Chris Brown situation. So let me play this for y'all real quick here. Okay. And grace is very real and we all need a dose of it. And before we point fingers at anybody, we should realize how grateful we are for every moment that we get for even even our, our own things that we have. I just think it's important to remember to be human. We are humans and yeah, do you feel like he needs to he, I mean, he needs to be forgiven for like, you know, what he did? I mean, you know what? We all need to for, be forgiven for anything that we could be doing, anything that we're thinking. We all come up short in some sort of way. And grace is real. And, and we are humans. And everybody deserves grace. Period. Yeah. I know you too. Bye. Yeah. I have to. Okay, so that is what Kelly had to say. And it triggered a lot of people. Um, even Jackie, um, Ina, uh, who's a makeup guru, she had commented on my page. And I ended up pinning her comment. Um, and this is what Jackie said. She had over a thousand likes. So Jackie says, I'm an abuse survivor myself, and it will absolutely never, ever under any circumstances be appropriate to tell people who should forgive, who they should forgive, support, and when they should do it. This is not about grace. People are allowed to have standards. And I believe not wanting to support someone who reminds you of harm slash trauma you've experienced is one of them. He's doing fine. I also don't think an artist who is routinely, openly colorist to dark skinned black women exclusively will ever be worth defending or supporting. So, um, you know, so we're having a lot of really good dialogue in the chat on Instagram about that situation. Now, they also went to Jordan Sparks and they were also asking her. Let me play this. I'm listening. I'm sorry. So, you know, you're going to ask you, you know, Kelly Bowman stood up for Chris Brown at the AMAs. Do you agree with her that maybe we should ask to me about Chris? I'm we love sorry. Chris. Okay. No, we love Chris. He should have been there. Do you think that like people should just move on from what happened and like 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 I think honestly him? I think that shouldn't even be a conversation anymore. It's about his talent. They should they just shouldn't cancel the performance. That's how I feel about it. Right. I appreciate you. I don't want to no. you. Thank you so much. No, no, no. You're fine. I just think people should deserve people deserve to be able to grow and learn and be able to live their life without things hanging over them everybody deserves that so him especially so thank you I so agree. much yeah, i appreciate you all right let me come back on the screen here and thank you tracy with the t she said we have ten thousand people in the chat make sure y'all hit that like button um 
So I guess my thing I, I've that's and I've asked this question in my chat. I'm not in the chat, but on Instagram, I don't understand Kelly Rowland's relationship with Chris Brown. But I know she seems to always be getting drugged behind Chris because this isn't the first time that she's caped for him. And so on social media, people are like really upset about this. And I'm going to play you guys another video that I have here of some screenshots and the things that people are saying to Kelly concerning Chris Brown and her, you know, constantly defending him. So let me um, pull this up here really quick as well. And there's no audio. I'm just going to read it. So uh, this person says it's not lost in me that she recently reunited with her absentee father. Um, the American Music Awards were right. Domestic abusers cannot be promoted, allowing Chris Brown to perform devalues other victims of domestic abuse. It's sad that black women like Sierra and Kelly Rowland defended him without thinking about the larger message to other victims. Because Sierra was also defending him as well. So people were upset about that. Uh, then this person says, I don't know, Kelly. I didn't I didn't know Kelly Rowland was this problematic. Didn't her ex didn't her ex boyfriend used to abuse her allegedly? This person says Kelly Rowland defending an abuser in 2022 is so ridiculous. Not a fan of her. Hashtag Kelly Rowland. This person says, five minutes ago, y'all were giving Kelly her flowers and defending her over Rosenberg's ignorant comments towards her. Now y'all are against her because she's forgiven Breezy. Fickle AF ain't the word for y'all. Hashtag Kelly Rowland. This person says, why do, why do y'all think black women are so quick to cape and forgive black men? But when the shoes on the other foot, for example, Tory Lanez and Megan, the stallion, all the women in R. Kelly's case, there's not even a little bit of grace. Seriously, hashtag Kelly Rowland and Chris Brown. Somebody else says, do y'all see a pattern? It's only dark-skinned black women, Normani and Kelly Rowland, who get caught out for defending Chris Brown is what she was saying. This person says 4,000 changes laid not just to NBL alone, the NFL, the M MLB, and other rappers, but because those women weren't Rihanna, they don't matter, right? Or how many of you own Beats by Dre and he's famous for beating on women? So this person is calling out the hypocrisy. This person says, Kelly is wrong. We don't, he, we don't deserve grace. Grace is the love that we do not deserve, but receive sometimes in spite of. There's a difference between grace, mercy, and favor. It's a great discussion, especially for faith-based people. Okay. Then this one says, Kelly Rowland is a clown for defending Chris Brown when he wouldn't even let dark-skinned women that look like her in his section at the club. And this person had 10,000 likes. This person says, if women like Kelly Rowland, Sierra, and even Rihanna have come out to speak good things about Chris Brown, to me, that means he's a good human being, not a monster that y'all want him to be so bad. A black man that, ma a black man that made a mistake at 19 doesn't have to pay for it his whole life. This person says, so y'all don't remember when Chris Brown did that song, only love the bitches with the good hair. And during the controversy, Kelly Rowland commented, we love you, Chris, or something like that. She's been a Chris Brown fan, so I'm not surprised. This person says, embarrassing. Chris Brown is not only an abuser, but also a colorist who doesn't even like dark skinned black women. He would never, he would have never done the same for Kelly Rowland. What the hell? It must be the drugs. Child, y'all accusing her of being on drugs and everything. Okay. So that was the last one. So like I said, this was like a huge back and forth on Twitter. Um, a lot of people with different, you know, opinions. Now, I will say this. Chris Brown has definitely said a lot of colorist things. Um, I remember him in Tokyo. I get all these damn Tokyos mixed up. Tokyo Vanity, Tokyo Tony. The big Tokyo. Is that Vanity? Then there's the one Tokyo Jets. I, there's like 50 million Tokyos. I want to say it's Tokyo Vanity. The big girl. Because I follow her, but I... Okay, Tokyo Vanity, thank you. Because I got there's about 50 million people claiming the name Tokyo. 
Um, but she came out years ago and talked about how Chris Brown refused to let any of the black girls in his section. And a lot of girls have talked about this. This happens all the time in the club. You know what I'm saying? Well, they'll make dark skinned girls wait outside and they'll let in, you know, the preferences. So he's definitely, you know what I'm saying, colorist. And it is very interesting that Kelly Rowland constantly capes for him and is constantly speaking on his behalf. And, you know, I don't think she needs to. I think Chris is grown enough to hold his own nuts. You know, if he wants to speak on the situation, so be it. I don't understand the women constantly coming to cape for him. Now, I will say this. I keep seeing a lot of people saying that Chris Brown has changed. Even Jordan Sparks. And I, and I like Jordan Sparks. You know what I'm saying? Um, but everybody keeps saying that Chris Brown was 19 when this took place. And I agree. You know, when you're a teenager, when you're young, we make mistakes, right? And even in that whole domestic violence situation with Rihanna, from what was stated, Rihanna put hands on him first, and that is how he reacted. And like I've always said on this channel, I don't feel like anybody, male or female, should put hands on anyone. When Krishan put hands on Blueface and Blueface reacted how he reacted, I condemn both of them. Blueface was wrong, but Krishan is also wrong for thinking that she can beat up on a man. I don't care how buff you are or how, you know what I'm saying, about that life you are. A woman's strength is never going to be the same of that as a man, okay? We need to stop perpetuating that. If I buck up to a guy, right, and I think I can hit a guy, his hit's going to hit me and hurt me a lot worse than mine will to him. So I don't condone any of it. So now everybody's saying Chris was 19. Chris was young. And I could give him grace being young, but the problem is this, okay? Y'all keep saying he was 19 and this was so many years ago, but a lot of us have forgotten that it was in 2017 and 2018 that there were new allegations levied against Chris. And at this point in time, he was a grown ass man. So, you know, people have the right to not give him grace. Let me bring y'all these receipts. Because y'all keep talking about Rihanna as if Rihanna was the only victim of Chris Brown. Who remembers when, you know, his preference, uh, Karuchi, I can say her name now. I, I, I know how to pronounce her name now. When Karuchi came out, remember? Uh, his preference came out and had to get a restraining order. Said, Chris Brown threatened to kill me. This wasn't in 2008. This wasn't when he was a wee lad at the age of, you know, at the small age of 19. He was at the big age of damn near 20 something, maybe 30 something. Child, I don't, I don't know. Y'all got to do the math. But this here says 2017. That's almost 10 years since when the 20, the 2008 incident with Rihanna happened. Y'all seem to have forgotten this. So let me read to y'all what they were saying. Chris Brown has been ordered. OK, by a judge, a judge saw fit to order this. He's been ordered to stay clear of ex-girlfriend Karuchi Tran after she filed legal docs stating that he vowed to kill her and he's beaten her up before. Karuchi claims in a sworn, a sworn statement to a judge earlier this month, Chris told a few people he was going to kill me. She says Chris told the friends if he can't have her, then no one can. Threatening he's going to take me out and threatening to shoot me. Karuchi also says, also says several years ago, Chris Brown punched me in my stomach twice and pushed me down the stairs. This would have been during the time that Chris was on probation for the Rihanna beating. Legal docs also claim that Chris has threatened to harm her, her friends, and, e and even recently threw a drink at one of them. She worries that he's not putting actions behind his words, and that's why she's getting the restraining order. A few weeks ago, Chris posted this video with tracks with Karuchi, with Karuchi claims Chris was telling friends that if he couldn't have her, no one could. Ladies, y'all be complaining about niggas being like stalkers and love with y'all kind of crazy shit and get tired of them. Well, guess what? I'm one of them niggas. If I love you, bitch, ain't nobody gonna hate you. I'm gonna make you miserable. I'm gonna chase that nigga out. 
Okay. 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 Let me come back on the screen. So I'm confused as to all these people who are mad at folks who don't want to give him grace. Nobody has to give him grace. If you choose, and, and y'all know me, I, I, I don't tell people who, should, who they should be fans of. That is your, if you are, uh, if you are Team Breezy, I don't know what y'all's logo is, honey. Y'all put y'all's emoji in there too. I don't know if it's a pair of tap shoes or what. But if you're Team Breezy, that is your business. I've never came on here and told people y'all need to stop listening to him. If you like him, you ain't shit. I don't, what you choose to digest and who you choose to support, that is your big grown business. But you don't have the right to try and shame people who don't want to have that same empathy or grace for Chris Brown. I think everybody's allowed to like who they want to like and who, do, who they don't want to like. Everybody's allowed to support who they want to support and who do, they don't want to support. And I just get tired of the gaslighting of this was so long ago. There was a goofy bitch who left me a comment on my page and said I was negative because of my post about Chris Brown. I didn't even say anything bad. I was literally asking the question, why does Kelly keep caping for him? If you think I'm negative, why are you here? She was blocked, so she can't come back. But it's just the, the point that because somebody doesn't like your fave doesn't make them negative. That makes you a goofy bitch for not understanding that people have the right to like who they want to like and not like who they don't want to like, period, point blank. You know, so I, I always find that very interesting that folks want to go back to 2008. You know, if he has not had any issues since 2008, then I could be like, you know what? This nobody has said anything else. Oh, not the fist. Oh, child. That is not the Chris Brown emoji. Y'all need to stop. They got the boxing gloves as some emoji. Boxing glove and tap shoes. I can't stand the chat. That is not his emoji. But um, <laughs> I cannot stand the chat. But like I was saying, you know, with the whole Chris Brown thing. People keep wanting to talk about the Rihanna situation. Yes, that situation was a long time ago. If Rihanna wants to forgive him, that is her right to forgive Rihanna. That's not anybody's right to shame her or say that she's dumb. That is between, they. those were the two people involved. And forgiveness is sometimes not about you, okay? Forgiveness is also sometimes about forgiving that person and letting go of that baggage, right? She was the one who was affected physically by that traumatic situation. So if he has never had any situation since then, I could say, you know what? He was young. He's changed. Nobody else has come out against this man, but his girlfriend, his preference, remember, oh, she's, she's half Asian. She's dainty. She's quiet. She's not as ghetto as that, as that voodoo witch from the Caribbean Rihanna. Remember that everybody said, you know, oh, he upgraded. Oh, you know, this crazy black woman pushed him towards the edge. Well, he upgraded to his preference who's half Vietnamese and he punched her in the stomach and threw her down the steps per her words. And the judge, he obviously has some type of proof because the judge signed off on the order. Okay, somebody ain't lying on damn Chris Brown. So I'm missing with the grace talk. Now, on top of Karuchi coming out, another lady came out. Y'all must have forgot this. Let's pull up these receipts. All right, here goes another woman. This was in, guess what? Oh, wow, 2018. Oh, another one? Another restraining order in 2018, not 2008. Like y'all keep wanting to gaslight everybody. Oh, that was so long ago. Oh, 2008 was years ago. This was 2018. We're only in 2022. So let's read what this one says. Chris Brown has been slapped, has been slapped, <laughs> no pun intended, with another restraining order. A woman named Cassandra was granted a temporary protection order against the singer after she alleged that she attended one of his parties and he began stalking and hitting her. Now, y'all remember I, that video I just played where he says he'll stalk a bitch. His words, not mine. Then they're going to say, according to court documents filed on Wednesday, 
The accuser claims that while Brown, 29, oh, he was a big old 20 in a big age. Oh, he wasn't 19. He was at the big age of 29, still harassing women. Let me keep reading. Has never threatened her with a gun or any other weapon, but he's been following and striking her. I think they meant stalking. Cassandra alleged that Brown's harassment occurred several times on different days, though she did not specify the dates. Brown is ordered to stay 100 yards away from Cassandra and stay away from her school, which he, which was unspecified. He also must not contact her in any way, nor is he permitted to attempt to obtain her contract, her contact or address information. A hearing in this case was slated for July 3rd, at which the point at which the point protective order will expire unless extended by a judge. Mark Brown's attorney, uh, sorry, Brown's attorney, Mark Garagos, told page six in a statement, this is sad because it's obviously a disjointed rantings of someone Chris doesn't know who has mental health issues. This just creates celebrity, this just creates celebrity meet and greets with deranged fans and perhaps the court's may want to engage with the mental health department. So that was what his lawyer said. I just find it very interesting, you know, and you can, and again, we can take the second one with a grain of salt, but you know, Karuchi, you know what I mean? Was his girlfriend of many years. And it was a lot of stuff that went down during their breakup. So I don't know. I just find it very interesting how, Kelly and everybody wants to keep caping for him. Like I said, I don't, you know, she wants to be a fan of his. That's fine. I just don't think that she needs to continuously speak out. This is literally like the third time, like literally the third time in a few years. And, you know, and I don't know the ins and outs of their relationship. I've asked. I'm like, you know, does he shout her? Because I don't follow him. I'm like, does he shout her out on his Instagram? Had they done a song together that I don't know about? Was he on like the motivation remix? Like, like what is this connection with her and Chris Brown? I just find it strange because again, Rihanna is, you know, with Jay-Z and Beyonce, her sister. So I, I find that strange that she's always speaking on behalf of Chris, but Rihanna is over here with The Rock. You remember your sister, Beyonce, my sister. Oh, that's my sister. She's with The Rock too. And that's their artist. I'm just saying. It's just, it's just very interesting. So, you know, again, I'm not here to demonize this young man. I'm just showing you guys another perspective as to why some people feel no ways about Chris Brown. Now, I will say this. The AMAs were filed for getting him hyped up, thinking he's about to perform, and then throwing the rug up under him. And that's the shit I don't respect because it seems like a lot of these companies, these conglomerates, they do little sneaky bullshit to create controversy. Now, they want to say that the reason why they got rid of him, I, I believe it was posted on Hollywood Unlock or somebody posted it. We didn't end up posting it because at that point I was over the story. But um, they wanted to say that the reason why they didn't post him was because, um, you know, this whole... Uh, the Rihanna situation, domestic abuse situation. That's why they didn't want, not post, but that's why they didn't want to have him perform. My issue is this is nothing new. So what the fuck are y'all talking about AMAs? Y'all did this for controversy. They invited him. They got him hyped up. They, hi they had him hype up his fan base and his audience. Because at the end of the day, regardless of if, you know, if Chris is a, a lunatic abuser or whatever, he can dance. He can perform. He's a good singer. I'm not going to take his talent away from him. He has issues, but he is he is talented, right? Two things can be true at once. So I believe that they asked him to do this, to hype it up, get more black folks to watch. Oh, a tribute to MJ. You know we love MJ, bitch. Don't play with our heartstrings. So we're all going to tune in. We like Glorilla. We like Cardi B. But damn it, we all love MJ, black and white alike. So they hype this up, and then we find out, oh, He's not performing MJ tribute gone. I think they did that on purpose because you can't say that the reason that they, that they didn't have him move forward is because of what he did to Rihanna. That's silly. Everybody knows. So again, keep the same energy. If you're going to be a fan, great. If you're not going to be a fan, great. That's your business. 
But don't hype him up and say that he's going to perform and then snatch the rug up from under him. Because at that point, I'm giving the AMAs a side eye. Like y'all just played him and y'all used him to, you know, to stir up ratings and then fell back. Because, again, they didn't want the backlash from the Chris Brown, from the people who don't support Chris Brown. They didn't want the backlash like, oh, AMA is a, a supporting an abuser and domestic violence. But they will use him for controversy and to drum up viewership. We're not going to go all the way, though, because we don't want the backlash. So you see the games that they're playing? So I don't, I don't respect that. You know, if you're going to rock with him and support him, that's great. If you're not, then quit playing with him. Cause I, I don't, I don't like that either. So yeah, I see through the nonsense. Like I said, I'm going to look at stuff from all angles, you know, support who you want to support, but also understand that some people are not going to be so quick to forgive him. And, you know, domestic abuse and domestic violence is very triggering, you know what I'm saying? And it can trigger up a lot of emotions in people. So it's not okay to just dismiss somebody's emotions because, you know, you just want to hear a hot track. So I think people have the right to either support him or not support him. I don't think they should be shamed or be like, oh, that was so long ago. Oh, bitch, stop living in 2008. Well, I just showed y'all evidence from, you know what I'm saying, not even three, four years ago. So everybody's not living in 2008. Some folks are living in 2018 with what he did to Karuchi. And whoever Cassandra is. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.